Hi, I'm Mike from RMI Golf Carts. Today we're going to uh, discuss starter generators. Some of the questions that we get daily are uh, people call in and say, my, I know my battery's good, but the car won't start. But if I take a hammer and hit my starter generator, it'll start. Uh, that's one of the common questions. The others is, it, my cart just won't turn over. But if you take your, your clutch and turn it halfway, or reverse halfway, um, and hit your pedal, if the cart turns over, that's the indication you got bad brushes. So if you bring your camera over here, we'll show you, when you pull your little rubber cap off your starter generator, and look down in here, you'll see where the brush is down in its holder. That's, that's the indication those brushes are shot. And that's the reason why your, your engine won't turn over. If you got brushes that stand up like this, this is good brushes. You're fine. You could just have a bad starter generator. One of the things that you also want to do <clears throat> is um, you'll pull the end cap off like this. These are fairly simple to, um, to replace. We use um, a brush kit. Part number is um, 529. And once you install these, take the screw out and install these. I'll show you what these look like. <clears throat> this is what you're going to get when it comes in a package. These have a little indicator on them, a little mark. I don't know if you can see that there. That's your indication of your wear. These are good brushes in here. They've already been replaced. But when you put these in, what you're going to do, you're going to push these up past the springs so they hold up like this. You're going to do them all like that. And that'll hold all that up. I've got these two already done. This is how you're going to install it. One of the things you want to check also, check this bearing. And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to sand your armature off. I think this is not too bad, but you still need to sand it off. When you put these back together, just slide that in, and all you do is push that down, make sure your spring's on top on all those, and then tighten your bolts down. Very simple to do. If you're halfway mechanically inclined, you can do that. But again, you push that in, push up there to lock them up, and they all stay up. Other than that, you'll fight that all day long. And that's the simple way of, <clears throat> of changing your, your brushes. Like I say again, this is your indicator that the brushes are wore out. Again, if you have to hit it with a hammer, you know you've got an issue. This is what it's going to look like. Good brushes. And there again, this you'll have to take a hammer, and you will have to tap a little bit to get it off, because you've got, got a bearing that's, that's inside here. And if you've got any other questions, you can always call us. Our phone number is 913-829-1211. All right, Mike, just to review one, one more time. So the tools needed, and part number is? Part number is the 529. The tools you'll need after you get your starter generator off is a 10 millimeter wrench. And that'll pull the two bolts off, and you'll take a hammer, just tap it off. And a Phillips screwdriver to pull your, your brushes off. But one of the other things you'll do while we're on here is you want to make sure that the brush or the wire does not ground anywhere on this aluminum frame. Some people will install this on this side, and if it touches here, it'll short that out. So make sure it does not touch the aluminum. Good information. And you will be fine. All right, great. Well, I appreciate it, Mike. Thanks. All right.